midwinter. We're just about ready. They stand to attention. Gates go back and they are off and racing. I thought Bomber Bay probably could have got a better start. That lost about a length and a half when the starter said go. Turbo 20 was right up there with Rama for Keza. They'll go off and lead them. Summer Snow towards the middle outside. African Prince is only three lengths off the leader. Then we go back to Bright Future. Further back is Bomber Bay and about six lengths off the leader. Bank Street is completely outpaced. That's about seven or eight lengths off them. Fencing Captain is further back in running and they're going a good gallop up in front. That's Rama for Keza in front with to the outside summer snow they in turn have gone three lengths clear of turbo 20 walk with me is on the inside african prince to the middle outside still five lengths off them but it's rama for keza who got driven into the lead with richard for he comes right back at summer snow rama for keza goes a lens clear african prince could have the last say african prince is running on powerfully and african prince with jp fundam have a win rama for keza's run second further back in third was two Turbo 20, and then was Walk With Me who was back in fourth to close off the quartets. Uh, behind that, Bomber Bay. Unfortunately, Summer Snow just went off too hard and found nothing that last bit. So at this point, Rama Forqueza comes back at Summer Snow. They were about two or three lengths clear of the hard-ridden African Prince, who now lifts, continues to lift under J.P. van der Merwe and wins a good race, the two-year-old son of Gimme the Green Lights. Well done to Greg Bortz, uh, to Bjorn Nielsen, to Miss Gina Goldsmith. Lovely combination of owners. This one bred by the Claverflay Stud Farm and now one-time winner from two starts. Congratulations to Justin. And, Snaith. and there's a nice slow motion replay. African Prince doing what he does best, lifting and goes on to win a good race. He could be able to follow the further he goes. The PA starts race three at 13.35. So race number two on the card has been won by African Prince under JP Funamava for Justin Snaith, Greg Bortz, Bjorn Nielsen, Gina Goldsmith and a nice, nice dashing son of Gimme the Green Light who's put it all together in good style from off the pace. Um, here comes JP. He loves Saturdays. I say that all the time. Grade one winners on Saturdays for months, uh, whether it be here or in Joburg. Here he comes. Japes, nice win. Nice, lovely, handsome horse. It's got a nice turn of foot. How impressed were you? 100% uh, LEM. Uh, obviously a little bit disappointed first start. Um, we thought his quality, but uh, his first start just very lost. Um, very mature still. Uh, today, back 1,000. Obviously, 1,000 is a bit of a question mark. Um, we knew he wouldn't be speedy, but he'll, he'll finish strong. That's exactly what happened. Um, obviously, well into the whole team. Uh, Greg, Gina, the old Snaith team, well done. How much scope has he got going forward? Oh, it's still early days, uh, Ellie, but um, a track gives you very quality feel. Uh, mentally, still need to wake up a bit, but uh, still early days. Rest of your day, quite a king makes appeal. Um, you're sweating quite a bit for Tyrion Lannister later on. Well, how does the rest of your day look? Future turn, quite a few like his chances as well. Yeah, Ellie, um, on cord. I thought this was the main one. Um, there's an outsider, not as outside, there's a little bit of value. Yep, there you are. Uh, forgot his name. I think if you're looking for some value, king of numbers, 16 to 1, he's been doing, um, I'm very happy with him at home. I uh, thought his loss was a little bit disappointing, um, unlucky as well, but uh, I thought if, if you're looking for some value, there's a 16 to 1, maybe take some places there. Eh? There we go, well played. Thank you very much to JP Fanamava. Love that. Let's get to the front with Vicky. Thank you, Alistair. Number three, African Prince, the Clover Flavor Bread, son of Gimme the Green Light, wins an impressive race. Jono, well done. Yeah, fantastic. You know, he's a really smart horse, and um, Justin was pretty confident today. And uh, he never really looked like losing when he got into his stride 200 out. So uh, they went a real clip in the first uh, part of the race. So they were always going to come back to the field. And when he got into his stride, uh, he's got a beautiful action. I think ultimately he's looking for 14 to a mile. And, uh, you know, it's lovely to have Greg and Gina on course. And so to Gina with the kids, Ivy and Brooklyn, and we had a little nibble. And uh, I must also mention Greg and Gina's partner, Bjorn Nielsen, who um, sadly couldn't make it this morning, but he's still in Cape Town. And uh, he's brought some fantastic um, babies, and these are probably the first few coming through. So he's got a bright future ahead. And uh, also to club the play stud, John Costa and his team, um, breeding another goodie. John, well done. Thank you. Next up, uh, Greg Bort's going to join me. Greg, when we saw you arrive, you walked across the parade ring. You didn't know we were watching you. We, I said, Greg's got a pep in his step. I'm just, oh, he's very fresh. So you must have known something. No, I just seen Gina arrive, so I was rushing. <laughs> very good. <laughs> well, then, for the win. 
Thanks very much, Vicky. John had touched on, he's a, a beautiful looking horse, very neat and athletic and, and strong. Um, good win from him? I think a great win from him. I mean, as you and I have joked, I mean, it's been a long time between drinks for Gina and I. We've probably on the worst run we've had in a long time. And uh, Justin has taken it personally and has worked really hard on all the horses. And he called me a few days ago. He said, I really like this, uh, this horse. I think the main difference is uh, we've got a little bit of the B Bjorn Nielsen magic, um, giving us a little bit of the Stradivarius uh, karma. So we're very happy to have Bjorn as a partner. Very grateful for, for the Snaiths for all they've done. Um, congrats to Clava for they bred it. And yeah, we're super happy with this win. Greg, well done. Good to see you in the winner's box again. Thanks very much. Hopefully it's not as long in between drinks next time. So, thanks, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you very much to you, Greg. And also Gina is on course for the win. And Bjorn, sorry, you can't be here. I know you would have loved to lead in African Prince. Beautiful looking horse. And um, as John has touched on, he will be enjoying, he will, he will enjoy a little bit further. So I'm most certainly a horse that will show further progress from this win. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. African Prince. I mean, I would love to be speaking about myself, but I am not speaking about myself. I am speaking about the horse that has just won race number two. It is the horse of this fantastic groom who happens to share my name, Sia. Sia, a massive, massive congratulations to you as well as Mr. Greg Bortz and his team and the Snaith Racing team. Ladies and gentlemen, Sia, you are from Snaith Racing. Tell me, Sia. Um, what are you going to do with the money you are going to earn in Gemal? I want to do it. 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 And how many kids do you have? Eh? Three kids. Three kids, CS, yes, three kids. That money is going straight to his children. That's a man with a good heart. We appreciate you, CS. Here at Cape Racing. A massive, massive congratulations to you from Cape Racing and Hollywood. It's Sia, I wish you nothing but the best. Ladies and gentlemen, that is race number two here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. African Prince with a cracker of a finish. Please, let's go watch that race one more time here at the replay as JP just managed to get the win in the last minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, after that, we head over to race number three.